hi guys good morning or good evening to everyone so in the last tutorials we have seen about what is the job statement exit statement and ED statement now in this tutorial uh, video I'm going to show you about how do we submit a JCL in mainframe neuron current so since you are clear with the job statement and exit statements and ED statements so I'm going to create a PS file that is I'm going to create one uh, flat ps file so using jcl so this is your jcl they appear i'm going to run this and then going to create this ps file so before this let go to the exit statement and see what are the different programs we can use one is called as a load module so load module is something that if it is written by a user so then you use called as a load module then we have an utility then we have a proc proc anyhow we are not going to use that now so in also also we were not using the load module now I'm going to use an system defined utility or a predefined program that is default provided by a IBM mainframe so what is that utility name IEFBR14 is the utility name that I'm going to use to create this particular PS file so I'm going to delete this line so then uh, what is the first parameter in data DD statement is DSN name so this is the file name that I'm going to use it so I'm specifying all these parameters new catalog delete uh, what is the data set organization record format and the record length is 80 bytes then space is space tracks uh, uh, primary secondary uh, release unit parameter volume serial number and so on so and other some system defined uh, DD parameters we have like sysprint, sysout and so on so this is uh, to route the messages to the spool so if I write sysout equal to sysout star so then it will uh, route the messages to the spool and we can see the messages related to this data set so in order to submit the JCL just type SUB here and just enter so you can see the job has been submitted with errors so I can go to spool and see what are those errors so what does it say is unidentified uh, keyword parameters sys out that means I have mentioned a wrong parameter here so that's the reason it went into an error sys out equal to star okay then home just submit it and enter so you can see a maximum written code as zero right so this is how you submit a JCL so after this if you want to go and see what are the different messages like uh, success or failure messages in detail so then you can go to start and here you can have an SDS option like spool search and display facility yet IPS then you can see the messages status of job by ST then you can see a uh, several jobs here so the recent will be our the latest will be the job so sorry here you can type a question mark here on the spool then enter you can see a different kinds of messages like ready name step name proc step and everything who the owner who submitted this JCL so within this the first JE message log so whatever the parameters that we have specified here the class message class message level so based on these these messages are being generated so in this message log you'll be seeing all the messages like when the job has been started and what is the job ID provided and the job name and all the time we can see it's like it can I can say it's a J is to job log system one or we can say job statistics here right okay so this was submitted at this particular time and this ended within the in this time so then a JCL so what are the JCL that you have submitted that will be here and then JE messages so you can see uh, what uh, you can see in detail about the data set name or the file name here so you can see your data set name file with volume serial and uh, the step can executed with condition code 00 and the DD parameter since you have specified the DD parameter then that's the reason you are able to see this detail so so this is how we run or submit a GCL 